Here's a question for you. What would we do without our social media? For most of us, it isn't a habit we're super proud of. Yeah, all that scrolling can cause anxiety and stress, not to mention low self-esteem with the way things are going right now. But it wasn't always that way. Here's a look back at the beginning. Today, it is so much more than it once was. Social media controls the way we interact, shop, laugh, and flaunt. More than a decade of scrolling and clicking has gotten us to a place of constant connection with some unhealthy side effects. We've reached a point where new apps like Be Real are hoping to shift the status quo away from artificial filters and unrealistic representation with an experience focused more on authenticity. But let's go back to when we first started easing into this new social experience. During my sophomore year, I decided that Harvard needed a Facebook. It didn't have one, so I made it. A young Mark Zuckerberg in 2005. The Facebook, as it was called at the time, would go from a Harvard-only directory to a worldwide phenomenon that would redefine everything. Social networking sites like Facebook, MySpace and Bebo that provide another way of staying in touch with people and escaping the office existence. Here in 2007, many employers were forced to ban the platforms at work. They were too distracting. But once we started getting the apps on our phones, social media became a necessity in the workplace for industries like real estate, marketing, certainly news. But it was the new generation of users born after the creation itself that exposed just how flawed it really can be. Today, young people are filtering, face tuning, and feeling immense pressure to portray picture perfect lives. It's gone from an exciting way to connect to an unhealthy obsession, and that has many people looking for ways to recenter and find balance with social media. Hoping new apps like Be Real can get us back to a place that doesn't feel as draining. On average, people spend two hours and 27 minutes on social media every single day. That's according to the latest data from Broadband Search.